<laughs> In this video, I'm going to integrate my ring doorbell on my Control 4 system. If you or one of your clients use Control 4 on one side and ring doorbells and ring cameras on the other, there is a way now to use the button press on a ring doorbell to trigger an action on your Control 4 system, like playing a tune on your Control 4 touch panels, for example. And you can also use the motion detection built in on your ring doorbell and on your ring security cameras to also trigger an action, such as turning on a light if motion is detected. At the time of this video, we can't get the audio and video feed from the ring doorbell or cameras back into Control 4. But the integration of the button press and motion detection turned out to be a great solution. So let's see how to make all of these work together. Before we start, we need to make sure that both our ring and Control 4 equipment have been fully set up using their respective app or program. Today, on a quick demo I've set up on my office desk, I'm going to use a Ring Video Doorbell 3 Plus and a Ring Stick Up Cam connected over Wi-Fi to my home network, where I also have my Control 4 system with my Control 4 T3 Touch panel here that is also fully set up and ready to go. Now, to allow Control 4 to listen to my Ring devices, I'm going to need to install a specific driver developed and sold by Blackwire. Blackwire is a platform that supplies a wide range of specific drivers on a large selection of integrated systems such as Control 4, ELAN, RTI, URC and Savant. And they only sell their drivers to heavy professionals. So the best way to start is to create an account with them so they can verify your details and allow you to access their materials. Once this is done, the first thing you have to do is to install the Blackwire Driver Manager for Control 4 on your Control 4 system. It will allow for the management of drivers supplied by Blackwire, to easily release licenses and to automatically maintain and update them on your client systems. They also have a very good video that explains and takes you through all the steps required for the installation of the Driver Manager, which I will first invite you to watch. So here, I'm going to download the driver manager on my computer. Then, I launch Control 4 Composer, and here, I'm using version 3.2.1. I go to Driver, Add or Update Driver, and select the Blackwire driver manager I've just downloaded, and click Open. Now that I have my driver installed, I go to Search and type Blackwire Driver Manager. There we go. I'll double click on it to add it to my project. Anywhere should be fine, but I'll install it in my office as this is where I have my demo set up. Once in my project, I have to enable that driver. So I select it and on the properties page, I can either enter my Blackwire account username and password or I can use a token that I will find on my Blackwire account page that I can hand out to an engineer to use out on the field without compromising my main Blackwire credential, which is very practical. Here, I'll enter my username and password. Click on Set and my driver starts. Great! And if you want to find out more on those parameters, you will find all the details under the Documentation tab here. Now that we have the Blackwire Driver Manager installed, the second step is to add the drivers that will allow us to integrate our Ring equipment. So, I'm going back to the Blackwire website and look for Control 4 Ring Event Driver. <laughs> there we go. So here, we will find the cost of the driver that will allow us to use it on one Control 4 project. So, just a quick disclaimer. I'm not being paid to make this tutorial and as always, my comments represent only my own experience. The Blackwire offered me a license to try out this integration driver and I would like to send a big shout out to my friends at Ring and Blackwire for this. So again, thank you guys. I click here to download the driver and while this is downloading, let's have a quick look at the bottom of the page here where we have the overview of the driver but also all the driver setup instructions. 
They're all very well documented with screenshots and instructions that I've actually used myself the very first time I've set up the Ring Event driver. It is also from there that I've downloaded the Ring Sound files that I'll be using on my Control 4 system, which is very cool. So, back in Composer Pro, I go to Drivers, then add or update driver. And in the files I've just downloaded, this time I'll find two drivers. The Ring Network driver, called Ring Event Master here, that I will have to install once, and then the Ring Event driver that I will have to install for each Ring device I want to integrate. So I'll add them to Composer one by one. There we go. Then go to search and type Ring, then enter. So first, I'll add the Ring Event Network driver here to my office. Once added, in a properties tab here, I'll have to enter the license key that I will find on my Blackwire account here once I've purchased the Control 4 event driver from them. I'll enter my license number here and click on set. Now the driver is asking to enter a pin code that I will find from this web address here. So on my internet browser, I'll type ring.blackwiredesigns.com, enter. And on that web page, I'll have to click on that button here to authorize the driver with ring.com. This sends me to a next page where I'll have to enter my ring username and password, then click on sign in. At this point, ring will have sent me an email with an authorization code, as you can see here. So I'll copy the code from that email, go back to my browser and add it here, then click on sign in. And on the next page, to allow these two systems to work together, I'll click on the Authorize button here. And now, Blackwire is giving me the PIN code that I have to use on the driver. And I also receive a notification on the devices where I have my Ring app set up that a new sign-in has been detected. Nice! Back in Composer, I'll paste my PIN code here and click on Set. Now that my license has been verified and the ring connection has been authorized, I'm ready to go. You can also refer to the documentation tab here that lists all the installation steps we've just completed. Now, let's add the driver specific to my ring doorbell by using this time the ring event driver here and add it to my project. Let me change the name a bit and add doorbell, voila. Next, on the Properties tab, under Doorbell, now that my Ring account has been linked with the Blackwire driver, I will find my own Doorbell called Front Door. Very good. I'll select it and click Set. And now, I'm ready to do some programming. Very good. In our example here today, I would like to program the system so if someone press on the Doorbell, a sound will be played on my Control 4 touchscreen so I can be alerted that someone is at the front door from additional locations, for example. The first thing I have to do inside Composer is to go to Agent by clicking on that button here to create an announcement agent. The announcement will allow me to customize what I want to play or display on my Control 4 devices when the doorbell button is pressed. In the agent list here, I'm going to select the announcements agent and if you don't have it in your list, you will have to add it using this button here. And now I'm going to add my announcement that I will call doorbell for example, and now I'm going to customize it. Starting from the top, I'm going to choose what to display on the Control 4 touch panel when the doorbell is pressed. So I tick on the box here, then click on edit text image here. First, I'll add an image that I have on my computer. Then. I'll add a text that says, somebody at the door, <laughs> for example. Then click on OK. Let's show an OK button. And let's close the announcement automatically after 15 seconds. Next, on Navigators, I select the Control 4 touch panel in my office to which I want this announcement to be played at. And click OK. Now, I'll configure the audio section of my announcement. And click on the box play audio file here. 
Then I click on the add button here to add the ring sounds I've downloaded earlier from the Blackwire website. I select both of them and click on open. And in the drop down list here, I'll select the ring doorbell sound. Next, I'll go to the enable touchscreen section, select my touchscreen, then click OK. And from the new section here, I set the volume I want when the announcement is being played. 65% should be fine. There we go. Now, to link the press action with the announcement, let's go to the programming screen by clicking on this button here. First, I select my ring event driver for my doorbell here. This driver is now giving me a couple of events, motion and pressed. I select pressed. The script in the middle here says that when, then the name of the ring event driver is pressed. In other words, when my doorbell is pressed, what do I want to do? Very simple. On the list of actions on the right here, I look for my announcement agent towards the bottom of the list, then select it. And in the comment tab here, I found the announcement I've created earlier called doorbell. Select it and then double click on the announcement action here to add it to the script. And now I can read that when my doorbell is pressed, execute announcement doorbell. Very good. Now let's test it. I press on my ring doorbell and I have the announcement play on my control 4 touch panel. That is very cool. You can also trigger an action such as turning on a light when your doorbell detects motion by selecting and programming the motion event here. And this option is also available on Ring stick up cameras. You will have to follow the same process, which is to add a Ring event driver for your camera, as you can see here. In this specific example, you won't necessarily need to create an announcement, so you can go direct to programming. Select the Ring event driver for your stick up cam, select motion, then look for a lighting circuit to use for this specific situation and add the action to the script in the middle here. And here we have, when my camera detects motion, it will turn on my porch light. And I'll also program it to switch off after five minutes, for example. That is very easy. Voila, there you have it. How to easily bring in the motion and button press event from a ring doorbell and stick up camera into a control 4 system for custom programming. I hope you find this video useful and if you have any question on how to integrate Ring X Line product with other control system, please let me know in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can be updated when the next video is released. Thank you very much, good luck and talk to you again on the next tutorial.